hello and welcome it's always a pleasure to have you here this part of a series of uh, short videos that I will be doing to take you through uh, several pro tips uh, that you can employ when working on a Microsoft Excel worksheet uh, to make your uh, work in Microsoft Excel as efficient it can be as usual uh, I try to make the videos as short and detailed as possible and uh, in today's episode we are going to learn uh, on how to use autofill and flash fill. Autofill is a command in Microsoft Excel that uh, makes your work easy when you when you're dealing with lists, lists of numbers, names, days of the week, months in a year, a particular sequence of uh, of, of figures and digits uh, that you wish to work around with. And um, let's let, let, let's start with um, with numbers and digits. Let's say uh, on this first column of my worksheet, I want to have numbers in the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on and so on. All I need to do is uh, instead of inputting the data 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, I'll just need to create a sequence. And creating a sequence, you just need to input the data on the first two cells of your row or column. Uh, in this case, I will have one on the first cell and two on the second cell in the first row. And then I'll drag this down and you see it out of fills the sequence in that order. This will also work across the row, whichever direction you want to, to, to have your data going in that particular sequence that you have input. And uh, you see it feels like that. This will also work in reverse, assuming my data was here, one and two. And then I drag uh, on the reverse. You see it will autofill going on the on, on the reverse of uh, now like two, one, zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on and so on. Uh, just before I continue, let me remind you, it is very, very important. I always advise people to learn the so many shortcuts that come with Microsoft Excel so that you can make your work as efficient as, as possible so that you don't need to, to get your fingers off the keyboard uh, to the mouse, which will consume uh, s s some time when you're working uh, on, on, on your worksheet. So like for uh, I'll keep mentioning some of these shortcuts as, uh, as I work around these videos. I'll make sure every time I use a shortcut, I, I, I mention it so that uh, you can always learn bit by bit on how to use the shortcut. However, we will I will try to do another video on the common shortcuts that can help you maneuver around uh, our uh, an Excel worksheet um, easily. So I want to undo what I have just done and the shortcut to undo is uh, Control and Z. Uh, let me show you another way you can use an um, autofill uh, again using digits. I want to create a sequence. Let's say you want to input data of, uh, let's say, the census of a country, a country that conducts census every after a decade. And uh, I will start with maybe 1960. So the next year of uh, data collection for census will be 1970 so once you create that sequence of uh, adding 10 years 10 years 10 years i will just need to drag this uh, to drag this sequence and it will autofill for me as such and as i had mentioned earlier you can always do the same you can always do the same across 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 the row uh, let's see that before I show you uh, another way that uh, autofill can help you in data data input. Um, let's try the days of the month. Uh, let's say my first column uh, is a column of the days of the month starting from Monday. Um, most versions of uh, Microsoft Office come with uh, the days of the month and the months, the days of the week and the months in a year already preserved as uh, autofill on the autofill part. So I will not need to create a sequence of Monday, Tuesday, and so on and so on. So once I have Monday and drag down that, it will already pick the sequence. And this will, uh, interestingly, it works also in short forms. 
if I was to have Monday in the short for in that short form and drag it down it will give me that let's try the months in a year January if I was to have January on the first cell and drag it down it will give me the sequence of of the months like that again if I was to have it in short forms it will also give me the sequence in that particular format again this can always work across the row it can still work on the reverse as i had mentioned when i was showing you how to have sequences in uh, auto filling in numbers like that that is that is how uh, auto fill works and it's it's very interesting you can always have it in a you can always create your own sequences um for instance let, let me do days uh, the dates uh, by date let me auto fill by date um let me te teach you one well, one easy shortcut of inserting your today's date the shortcut to insert your today's date in microsoft excel is control and the semicolon when you, you press on the keyboard the, you hold the control button and press on the semicolon it inserts today's date so if i was to drag down that it will give me the days as they follow from today tomorrow the day after tomorrow and so on and so on you can do the same with time if i was to in, uh, insert today uh, this particular time that i'm doing this video uh, the shortcut of doing of inserting time the current the real time of when you when you're working on your worksheet is a uh, control shift and the colon it, it, it gives you the time uh, right now it's 8 8 8 0 4 p.m at the time i'm doing this video at my location if i was to drag this down it will give me that time after every hour after every hour after every hour that's how how easy you can um, you can use autofill to make to make your work uh, efficient you can always create your own autofill sequence and preserve it inside um, inside your, your 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 workbook and this is how you do it you come at file you go to file options then you go to advanced options then you scroll down until you see edit custom lists so click on edit custom lists so here uh, as i had mentioned earlier you can see you can see you have uh, the days of the of the week and the months in a year they have already been m most most of the excel microsoft office excel versions come with this already preserved you can always create your own list you come to new list and then you can add here as you want let's say i have moses i have james have david and so on and so on then you you click on add you can if, if you have this list preserved somewhere in a worksheet in your in your excel in your excel worksheet you can uh, import that data from wherever you have preserved it you click on this button here and then you look for your data let's say i have this uh, i have this table here with um, a sample student student log um mm. let's say i used to use i want to use the given name column you highlight then you press enter and then you import so that will be a preserved out of a list then you can say okay okay so if i was to start with the first name on my preserved list which in this case in my list it's peter if i was to drag down this it will automatically fill in the names of my students as per the list i have already preserved on my worksheet so that is how easy it is to work with autofill it's always good to to know these pro tips because they make your work very easy let's go to the next item that i wanted us to discuss today which is flash fill flash fill is another very interesting command in um, in microsoft excel this command combines data that has been input 
in uh, different cells into one cell and um, I'll go to this sheet here I the same the, the same list of uh, the same student log that I have with their scores in calculus geometry fluid mechanics and soil mechanics and you see the surname the given name and the middle name are in different columns if I was to have these names combined into one cell let's say I want uh, in the same order Kamau Peter Mwangi on one on one column on one cell Kimeli Philemon Kimutai Kibet Edna Jeep Korea and so on and so on I will just come and type in that order on the first cell that is Kamau Peter Mwangi and then I will apply the flash fill command on that row like this when you drag like that it will copy Kamau Peter Mwangi all the way down before you click outside this box this section that is highlighted you come and click on this plus sign here and click on flash fill it picks now respectively of every row on on what you you have done you, you have applied on the first on the first cell interestingly you can do this in so many way in so many ways if I wanted to have these um, if I wanted to have these names with initials let's say I want to have P K Mwangi I will just input P K Mwangi if I if I apply the flash fill command in this one it will apply the same in all of them see how in easy and interesting that becomes if I wanted to have the same let's say i wanted to have pk mwangi and the and the score he got in let's say geometry he scored 80. if i apply the flash fill command on the same it will do the same for all of the students see very interesting like now kw chebukati scored 67 in geometry and you can you can play around with it as much as you can let me show a very you show you a very quick one quick one again that you can do let's say i want to have the email addresses i want to have another column here with email addresses for these students and um let me just say email address for these students and uh, i want my email address for each and every student to be in this format the first name the given name dot the surname at at now the institution dot com I will say Peter dot Kamau at let's say JKU at dot com like that if I was to apply the flash field command on all the others you will see it will give me exactly the same like let's say for this one simon.ngugi at jkwat.com so this the, 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 there is always unlimited uh, potential on how you can you can use autofill and flash fill when you're working around with um, with microsoft excel and this applies in almost all versions of microsoft excel except for the flash fill which i think starts from microsoft office 2014 and above probably my i i suppose microsoft uh, uh, office 2010 will not be able to do this uh, thank you very much for watching this video i hope it was help helpful it if it was educational if it was helpful kindly gives a give us a thumbs up uh, drop us a comment share the video with your friends and colleagues you can you, you can Tell us in the comments uh, what other video you'd like me to do for you. Uh, what command in Excel you think uh, you'd like me to take you through. And and, and kindly, kindly subscribe. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, there will be more and more videos coming in. Uh, teaching you on so many other tips. Either in Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word. And many other, many other educational material uh, that uh, we may come across and wish to share with you. Thank you very much and uh, have a good day.